tracking so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. Well, Hurricane Joaquin is still on the map here, bothering the folks in Bermuda, but that's tapering off. Uh, they didn't get anywhere near as much rain as they've had in uh, South Carolina, but notice how that is tapering off as well. They're still getting rain today. However, by tomorrow, they'll get sunshine, but with all the rain they got and with the rain traveling down all the rivers heading towards the, the coast there, they still have many flooding problems to deal with. For us, we have uh, dry weather here and our neighborhood temperatures include 62 in Minerva, 64 in Elwood City and Newcastle. You have 65 in Warren and 58 in Newton Falls. Now we look at future tracker. You'll see some clouds showing up here off and on throughout the afternoon, but the temperatures in the 60s basically staying in the upper 60s for this afternoon. Might hit some 70 degree readings here. First news at 5 and 6 staying dry, and the clouds making a partly cloudy night for us, but uh, looks like another dry day tomorrow. There's just a 20% chance of a shower because the winds are going to be out of the north coming off of Lake Erie. So our other team forecast today mostly sunny, 68. Low tonight, 50 degrees with the partly cloudy skies. And tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, there is that 20% chance of an isolated shower. Uh, by Wednesday, we're up to 70. Thursday, 72 degrees. That's the warmest day of the week. And then we start to cool down because Friday is a rainy day. However, so far, the tracking on Friday shows that the rain tapers off before Friday night football. And then Saturday and Sunday were dry, but cooler highs in the mid-60s, lows in the 40s.